Weber State Academy began in 1889 in the northern Utah town of Ogden. In 1933, the academy became a state-sanctioned junior college. The 1950s was a decade of growth and prosperity. America was beginning to recover from the hardship of World War II. Many young men and women who had returned from the war were interested in gaining an education. A young man who had just returned from active duty in the Navy was hired to manage the bookstore. J. Farrell Shepard has been involved in student activities since 1945. Weber Academy purchased farmland on the bench east of Ogden. Former student body president Jim Hurst recalls the first buildings on campus. They were four together. They had the appearance of elaborate chicken coops. And so and they were out in the middle of the field and they came to be known as Henry's Henry. Henry A. Dixon was president of Weber College until William P. Miller filled the position from 1953 to 71. Miller moved the old college in from the downtown Ogden campus for a cost of $15,000. The union building in 1959 consisted of two former army barracks and they were located up to the east of those four uh, buildings and uh, it was called the Temporary Union Building. The acronym for students was the TUB. Eight years before the first student union was constructed on campus, a building fund was started. Students of Weber College paid an additional $4 per student each quarter. President Miller and others secured a loan of $765,000, and along with the $67,000 that had been saved in the student trust, groundbreaking began in the spring of 1960. Shep decided early on that he wanted to be a big part of the new union building. In 1951, Jim Folger came to me one day and he said they're having a conference down in Salt Lake for union buildings. He says, why don't you go down? The information that he gathered would serve the students well and set a standard for many generations. That was really enlightening to me. We'd been doing some of the things that the union does, but unbeknownst to how it fit in. And I didn't say anything to anybody else, but I decided that's what I wanted to do. The union building was dedicated September 25th of 1961. The first director to be selected for the new building was Farrell Shepard. Known better by many as just Shep, he was instrumental in developing the modern concept of a student union. For the nation, the 1960s were years of unrest. Political activism, the Vietnam War, and the peace and love generation. Meanwhile, Weber State was quietly developing a legacy. 1960s saw growth in the union building and across campus, including Weber College becoming a four-year institution of higher learning in 1963. The new union building was an exciting attraction for Weber State students. College attendance grew to nearly 4,000. Under the guidance of Farrell Shepard and Monty Shoup, the Union Building was filled with student activities. In the 1960s, bowling lanes became very popular all over the country. Weber State College was no exception. We had a Games and Recreation Committee. They were really strong in bowling. Social clubs had become a major part of the college scene. The sororities and fraternities promoted many fun activities both on and off campus. Dances were an important part of socializing at Weber College. Another major activity organized by the students was homecoming. Every year would plan what they'd call the Union Birthday Party. And that was one where they'd decorate the whole, the whole building in different, they'd pick a theme and different areas would be part of that theme. And it was something that we would pull townspeople up even to participate with us. The good times that were enjoyed at Weber State were secondary to the learning experiences provided by the Student Union Building. Shep began his career in the bookstore, a vital part of the learning experience. After Shep moved into the director's office, Dee Skank became the manager in 1962. I was uh, uh, delivering mail at Clearfield, and so I quit that job and started working at the bookstore. And I thought it was a pretty nice bookstore. Shep always guided and directed the union building activities with a solid purpose in mind, 
The Student Union Building is a place where students can learn about who they are. One of the things I learned from Farrell Shepherd was you need to provide these out-of-classroom experiences for the students to get a well-rounded education. Out-of-class activities was recognized as a major contribution to the education that a student uh, would receive here. Farrell Shepherd would always say the heartstone of the campus. Heartstone of the campus is the union building. Brings people together.